I'm Craig Bauman, I'm the conference coordinator and treasurer of the Secular Student Alliance here at Akron, and welcome to the Sexy Secular Conference. Uh, a quick history, back in November 2012, Akron Secular Student Alliance traveled to Springfield, Missouri uh, to see the very first, well, our first Skepticon, it was Skepticon 5, and the conference was such an inspiration to us uh, here at Akron, <coughs> that it inspi inspired us to host our own conference. Uh, many of the speakers inspired us. Uh, many of the subject matters were enjoyed and provoked very many thought-provoking conversations. Uh, one of the speakers in particular, Dr. Dale Ray, really knocked us off our feet. We were really blown away by his subject matter, mostly because we had no idea that we were going to be passionate about the subject matter in the first place. Uh, he spoke about sex. Sex has a negative connotation. It's got a taboo placed upon it by many religions. Uh, it's an issue that has been plague, plaguing everybody uh, all of our lives, uh, how sex has been kicked down, beaten up, and uh, is unfortunately, we, nobody talks about it anymore in public. So we decided we'd throw a conference all about that. <laughs> Even, even though many atheists think that they have it all figured out, remnants of improper sex education, sexual repression, guilt, homophobia, and incoherent morals often still linger. Many atheists are often confused on what is right, wrong, and natural. So our group was so inspired by Dr. Darway's subject matter that less than one year later, we hosted our first conference. It was so successful that we had to do it again, and so here we are bringing sexy back. <laughs> Uh, quick disclaimer, today many of our speakers will be talking about some frequently thought of taboo areas which will be critical of various religions. It's our hope that this material will be educational and enlightening and we hope that you can keep an open mind. Please do not take any personal offense from the subject matter. At Akron SSA's table just outside the door, uh, there's a conference survey available that we'd encourage anyone to take and give us feedback. Hopefully, anyone, hopefully everyone will have a wristband on. It's going to help us keep track of how many people are here today, and that's helpful, <laughs> as well as just being able to point out who's here today, and you can go talk with them about the conference. So keep it on throughout the day. Uh, the Secular Student Alliance here at the University of Akron has been a consistently steady, growing group since I joined back in spring 2011. Since then, we've taken, we've really taken off as a group. We went to Reason Rally and Skepticon 5 and 6, and soon we're going to go to Skepticon 7. We have hosted Dan Barker debate a religious professor here on campus about the very existence of God. It was very exciting to be at. We've also hosted Dan Barker, I'm oh, sorry, uh, August Berkshire, Dr. Dale Ray, and many more. Um, back in this past May of 2013, we had uh, six of our SSA members featured on two different billboards around the, the, the university and Akron, uh, stating our atheism and encouraging others to come out. Uh, we hope to continue growing as a group and having a growing presence here on campus because atheists, agnostics, skeptics, humanists, and people without doubts or with doubts about their religion need a community to talk to. Most of all, they need to know that that community exists. This is a growing movement in our country and especially in the college population. Approximately one in three people, three students, do not affiliate with any religion. Today we bring eight speakers from all across the country. We're very excited to hear as a student group, and we're excited to share this experience with you. In my experience with conferences, my favorite part has been talking directly to the speakers, and I encourage each of you to uh, hit them up and talk with them between our two breaks today. Also, after the conference, everyone is welcome to join us out at Barley House downtown. Today's conference is free. So I need to thank some people. I need to thank the National Secular Student Alliance for funding us uh, in conjunction with Ohio Wesleyan University, who also contributed some. Uh, the University of Akron has given us a lot of money, and we thank them for that. Uh, the conference is also co-sponsored or sponsored by uh, another student group here on campus, the Liberation in Progress, which is a women's activist rights group, uh, just a quality group. It's great. Uh, the SSA has become very close with them. Uh, also, I need to thank all of our tabling vendors. They're all outside, and there will be more throughout the day. Um, <laughs> it has required all of this funding, all these different sources today, to make today possible. And it also mostly depleted our funds. So uh, please support us by buying a sexy T-shirt, as you see many of our staff members wearing today. 
And if you're up to it, then leave us a donation as well. It'd be really kind of you. Uh, it'll help us get through the spring semester because we've used all of Akron's funding for our group. <laughs> uh, lastly, uh, I could not have made this conference possible without the support of hardworking help of my fellow officers from Akron SSA, primarily Rob Fraze. Also, LIP members Jess Bashlin, Kaylee, and Madeline. Thank you for coming, everyone, and enjoy.